similar solids are figures that are the same shape and have linear measurements that are proportional. For example, here we have two similar solids. The scale of these two models is 1 to 3. That is to say, the model on the right is three times as big as the model on the left. For example, if you select the side, uh, the side 5 on the left model, on the right model it is 15. 15 is three times greater than 5. Simply, if you look at 2 and 6, 6 is three times greater than 2. Now I've changed one of the sides. The model on the left has sides of 3, 3, and 8, while the model on the right has sides of 6, 6, and 15. Are these still similar solids? To check if they're similar solids, we select side pairs and see if they're equal. If they're not equal, then we do not have similar solids. We compare side 1 of 3 and side 2 of 6 to side 1 of 8 and side 2 of 15. One has the proportion 0 0.50 while the other has the proportion 0 0.533. Because they are different, these two figures are no longer similar solids. Let's go back to our similar solids. Remember that these two models have a scale of 1 to 3. This means that the surface area of these two models has a ratio of 1 squared to 3 squared, which is 1 to 9. For example, the surface area of figure 1 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 plus 2 times 5 plus 2 times 5, or 48 square inches. The surface area of figure 2 is equal to simply 48 times 9, or 432 square inches. That is because the surface area of figure 2 is 9 times that of the surface area of figure 1. Now, let's talk about volume. Because these models have a scale of 1 to 3, that means that they have a volume ratio of 1 to the 3rd to, to 3 to the 3rd, which is 1 to 27. For example, the volume of figure 1 is equal to 2 times 2 times 5, or 20 square inches, while the volume of figure 2 is equal to 20 times 27, or 540 cubic inches. As you can see, the volume of figure 2 is 27 times that the volume of figure 1. 